Hi folks, that's me on Android.com, where we get <laughs> on Android every day. I mean, a couple of days ago, I posted a video on how to turn your Note 2 and S5 slash Note 3 hybrid, and a bunch of people with an S4, they're like, Hey Max, why don't you do that for my phone? Um, so I finally got it. Um, I have some good custom ROMs you can install and turn your Galaxy S4 into a Galaxy S5, uh, along with some overclocking, so you can also make your phone super fast. Um, so let's go ahead and do this, baby. All right, let me go ahead and show you some of the ROMs that I do recommend. Right now I'm running uh, Echo ROM for the AT&T Galaxy S4, which I've got here, which you can also install on T-Mobile and AT&T, uh, also GTI 9505 and Canadian. And also there's a ported version of that for Verizon, which I've also got on my Verizon Galaxy S4. It's the same ROM. Uh, but port it for the Verizon. Now you can install the Verizon ported ROM on the Sprint version. Um, so Echo ROM, you can go ahead and install all these variants, except for the GTI 9500. Um, so for the GTI 9500, I do recommend OSCAN ROM here, uh, which also has, it's a ported S5 ROM, uh, pretty much, much has all the features on the Echo ROM. So let me go ahead and show you with my Sprint S4 here. Uh, this is the Echo ROM. Now the coolest part about S5 ported ROM is that um, you do have a ultra power saving mode working out of the box. Now this feature, some people are asking me if I can, if you can install a file and install it. Um, I think it's actually a little bit complicated. You would have to install a custom ROM or you would have to really modify the system files to get it working. So I don't know if it's possible. I'm going to look into it. But for now, you can go ahead and install a custom ROM such as this one. Um, with this, I'll be able to get uh, 7.3 days of battery life on 59%. Uh, and uh, I've actually tested it out, and you can get, you know, you won't get exactly seven days, but you'll get, and even if you use it all the time, you'll be able to get near like uh, six days, you know. So, ultra power saving mode, I think it's one of the coolest uh, features that Samsung uh, invented this year, especially with the AMOLED screens on the Galaxy. Uh, Samsung phones um, the black background does not use any energy versus like on HCC one it has an LCD screen uh, even with black background um, you will lose battery life on those phones but not with this one that's why ultra power saving mode works really well what is really cool about this ROM I showed you a uh, quad multi window with my note 2 last week or a couple days ago and this one also has multi instance uh, also quad multi window now, multi-instance means that you can open the browser uh, multiple times. Now, that's on a default Samsung firmware. You cannot do that on this one. You can uh, open the four browsers, open at the same time. You can, so you can go on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, uh, check your email, You know, go on Google Maps, or perhaps you're looking at Yelp on one page and you're looking at the maps and then you're doing all of these other things. I mean, you know, it is very useful in certain situations. Um, so definitely a cool feature to have. Next up, let me go ahead and show you a bunch of lock screens um, you can get, and you can get the full S5. I remember when the uh, developers started porting the S5 particle lock screen, um, it was just like really crappy, like it was actually not ported exactly, but it was just like a car, like a clone or something. But um, now you do get all the lock screens working flawless out of the box, just like on the Galaxy S4. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you some of these different uh, lock screens you can get. The effects, um, you can change it to stone skipping, watercolor, ripple, um, all that light effect, all that good stuff. So very good stuff. Also, these ROMs all come with a modded S5 launcher, uh, which I also showed you with the Note 2. This one has it. It's way faster than the default touch was. If you're still running stock uh, Samsung firmware, you're really missing out. And these things also come with uh, home screen settings where you can um, disable the My Magazine, which I recommend. Also, you can get up to 20 different themes. Uh, make sure you do flash the TouchWiz uh, theme zip file to get the additional uh, themes here. Uh, but you can see I quickly changed it to uh, LG G3 theme. And this also makes your lock screen look like an LG G3 uh, as far as the background. And also there's like Iron Man, and uh, you can change it into LG G Flex, um, Sense, or even iOS 7. Um, so very fun stuff to have uh, theming. Also, if you want, you can go ahead and uh, use 
a K Tweaker kernel, which I highly recommend uh, for those of you uh, running Echo ROM. I do highly recommend it because you can overclock your phone up to uh, 2.3 gigahertz. Now, if you do overclock it that much, your phone is gonna reboot, uh, but you can safely get it up to about 2.16 gigahertz. I'll show you that real quick. To set that up, go into K Tweaker, um, go into main settings, go to CPU settings, and enable OC steps and change this one to 2.16 gigahertz or 2160 hertz, megahertz. Um, by overclocking your phone, your phone will be faster than ever. Of course, it's gonna run a little bit hotter, so don't overclock unless you absolutely have to. Um, also, if you wanna keep these settings when you reboot, uh, make sure you go to set options on boot. Set that to five or 10 seconds. So when your phone reboots, your phone will overclock automatically. Now overall, you'll also find some S5 apps like S Health, S Translator, a um, couple more things, and also on the OSCAN ROM, you will find some kids mode and stuff like that. This one actually has the full S4, S5 UI. And let me go ahead and show you some additional stuff you can do. All right, Echo ROM also comes with goodies like Viper for Android and also a bunch of Expose modules. You can go to Expose Installer, go to Framework here, and make sure you hit Install Update and don't reboot yet and then go into modules. Enable any modules that you wanna use. Um, it actually has uh, Wanam Expose app, which is great for tweaking your UI. Uh, Expose app settings uh, for running your favorite apps in tablet or custom DPI mode. Um, so a lot more features, but I'm gonna end it there and let you figure out uh, the rest of the features. But uh, overall, it will make your Galaxy S4 into an S5. Um, you know, without spending too much time, get a bunch of themes, get overclocked. Uh, it really essentially turns your Galaxy S4 into like a Galaxy S4 Plus. And thanks guys for watching this video. As you can see, rooting in custom ROMs uh, will give you the ability to turn your Galaxy S4 into Galaxy S5. Of course, you won't get like, you know, new hardware features like uh, the fingerprint sensor, but who needs that anyways? Uh, but this is a great way to revamp your phone uh, instead of being stuck on stock Samsung firmware, which sucks and laggy, uh, but it makes my Galaxy S4 uh, like into Galaxy S4 Plus. Anyway, um, try it if you have a Galaxy S4. Uh, you will need to root, obviously, to install these ROMs, but it works on any Galaxy S4. So definitely try out these custom ROMs and do let me know what you think. And as always, if you have a Galaxy S4, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxys4root.com for weekly uh, weekly uh, updates of ROM of the week in your inbox. And lastly, not but least, stay on Android.